Hello there, my name is Carlo. Welcome to another quick tutorial. This basically is going to be teaching you how to use the camera tracker feature um, within Nuke X8. Um, it's very similar, um, the, the, the Foundry camera tracker, to the one that can be purchased for After Effects. Um, so I'm just going to be able to, I'm just going to quickly show you, you know, how you would get it up and how you would get it running um, within the Nuke new program okay so first of all what I want to do is obviously I want to um, import um, some footage so uh, Nuke is very very simple really it's just a sort of drag and drop um, scenario or drag and drop system um, so here I've got uh, my brother-in-law sort of playing um, in his band so I'm just going to be using that for now um, this is a standard mpeg4 file um, the, 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 the foundry tracker you can use it on sort of any files um, all the way up to 4k um, which is great so um, once I've imported um, uh, my footage in my node graph what I'm going to do is obviously pair it with my viewer um, and that will bring it up into my screen real estate up here now obviously this footage is obviously about three and a half to four minutes long um, so you know depending on the size of the, of the file um, the quality of the file uh, and the length of the file is going to determine um, how long it will take to track the footage so I'm just going to show you um, with this quick scene here and then what I might do is drop a film in and just show you how nicely um, it will it will basically render um, with a high quality uh, piece of footage okay so uh, once we've got this in our node graph what we're going to do very very simply is we're going to uh, right click and we're going to come up to 3d um, and what we're going to do is come down to here where it says camera tracker so it's very very straightforward and then we're just going to click on that now what that will do that will give us another node um, within our um, node graph um, as you can see here it says camera tracker um, and it will open up a separate box template just up here so obviously these are all your settings um, for your tracking tool um, obviously um, you know if you're going to track a still you'd click still um, obviously this is a film so it's classed as a sequence um, you can also um, create masks with the, within this uh, camera tracker so it's a lot more um, in-depth than the camera tracker found on um, or, or you can get for after effects shall I say so when we come here fact, uh, film a black preset we can come and we can basically pick the sort of quality um, our film is has been imported to so obviously if you've got 4k camera you know production 4k um, it's got some of the more high-end cameras as you can see um, within your presets but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave it to custom um, because obviously I don't know what camera or what quality uh, the camera was um, that took this footage so um, after that very simple all we're going to do is we're going to keep the settings the same um, and we're just going to uh, track the footage so just to just quickly it's got um, from 1 to 5408 um, sequences within this so I'm just going to hit track and basically what that will do that will start um, loading up the uh, tracker uh, feature for you uh, to put it in place and then once that's done um, the camera tracker will start tracking the footage um, as you can see so straight away um, it's given me a progress time or a progress table um, obviously you know it says here 49 minutes but that's sort of well dropped down in time uh, like I say it's all based on the amount of uh, things that are going on in your footage um, and how many points it has, has to track uh, but as you can see uh, you know Nuke tracks footage absolutely amazingly um, so once this is tracked um, obviously you know very similar to After Effects you'll be able to um, insert certain objects or nodes and scene uh, uh, things into your footage so that's basically it really once this is done um, you're free to um, continue with your project so um, yeah very very simple I'm just going to cancel this out now because um, obviously I don't want to track a lot but as you can see I've tracked a little bit of it uh, here um, and once this is done 
um, what you're going to do is you're going to click on solve the camera um, so once that's solved it will know exactly where the uh, points are uh, in general so obviously you know I've not sort of rendered a lot so or tracked a lot so obviously my tracking time is going to be very very quick um, so what I'll do is I'll just let that run in real time for you guys um, so you can see exactly what's going on so very quick obviously it's going to say failed um, because um, I've not tracked the whole point now obviously as you can see here in my footage um, everything in green um, because obviously this has not been tracked properly because I stopped it everything in green will be classed um, as a good point um, and all of these not very good so um, so that's the track length sorry it's the other way around what am I talking about everything in green will be bad uh, everything in green uh, sorry orange will be classed as good so it says here track length you know and then you can sort of like um, when you get the greens up here it's very similar to the, 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 the tracking tool uh, within After Effects it is the same company um, that make it which is a foundry so once this has been tracked um, yeah like I say you're free to um, do whatever you want with your points so yeah I mean I hope this has helped it's very quick it's very useful um, obviously there's a lot of beginners to the nuke program out there um, and I hope this helps you um, to track your videos in the future so thanks for listening and I'll see you guys in the next video